When I was in high school, I was really passionate about the newspaper. Being able to actually produce a newspaper, I like learned through that process that I really care about being able to hold something in my hand and say, this is meaningful to me and I, I built this. I went to a college of business at Creighton University in Omaha and I thought I was gonna do marketing. I took my first marketing class and I thought this is not for me. Uh, and so I switched over to economics and everything just made sense. Like everything that I learned in my like Econ 101 and micro models, they just like absolutely made sense to me because I was like, yeah, this is how I make every decision in my entire life. And so I studied behavioral and cognitive neuropsych as well to try to inform like, okay, these are what the economic models tell us we should be doing. Uh, what are we actually doing and why? I did a program my junior and senior year writing business plans for biotech startups in the Omaha area and I got to work on two sort of genetic sequencing projects uh, that were tied to the medical school and that was really where I first realized that I wanted to be in healthcare in some way. Being originally from Kansas City, if you want to be involved in healthcare, the sort of natural next step is to look at Cerner, the big EHR vendor that is based in Kansas City. And that was sort of my first sort of haphazard step into medical informatics as well. As I went through my time at Cerner, I was building laboratory systems for hospitals. And so it was really cool to be able to watch people actually use what I had spent hours building and then say, wow, this works really well. This is so much better than what we used to have. Hey, can you make it do this? And then I would say, yes, actually I can. And that really got me energized about like the power of informatics and information systems in general to make healthcare better. My research interests are largely around health information exchange and interoperability. That's really the next sort of regulatory hurdle that we as a country are trying to deal with so that physicians can be the most possibly informed that they can be with the most complete information at the time that they are caring for a patient. I thought the best way to pursue that end goal is to go and get a PhD in informatics and be able to study this stuff and come up with the answers that can then go and inform regulatory policy decisions. Public and population health informatics has to do with the information systems that we use to improve public health and also monitor and improve population health. And we focus on that largely in our program because we're situated in a school of public health. You end up meeting people who are into completely different aspects of informatics than you are, and they become people who you can end up collaborating with that you never would have been exposed to otherwise. I think the most important resources that we can have as PhD students are mentors. We actually have sort of a formal mentorship piece of our program, but we also have informal mentors. The plan is to hopefully end up in a, an academic department, being able to do the independent research around health IT regulations and informatics regulatory policy uh, that I want to do. Um, ideally, I would like to you know, grow through the tenure track there and, and be able to pursue research that is actually relevant to both policy and practice in that moment.